architecture plays such a huge role in trying to design and develop cities that you want to live in. We have to be at the forefront to show how architecture, politics and private companies can go together in creating an even more sustainable society. I had the great honor of being Minister of Foreign Affairs in 2015 and being present in the UN General Assembly Hall in New York when we decided upon the Sustainable Development Goals. And this might sound like a big statement, but I actually had an epiphany at that moment. I realized that what I need to do for the rest of my life is to work with sustainability, because that's the promise I give to my children, that I will hand them a better world than I received from my parents. A lot of the CO2 being emissioned right now comes from the energy sector. And transforming from coal, oil, natural gas into renewables would be a huge change. And we can do so much more by electrifying the society, both directly, but also indirectly, through hydrogen, through e-methanol, through sustainable aviation fuels coming out of, of power. So there's a lot that Green Power Denmark can do, but we also need to do more. Because we are not only producing clean, green energy. We are also being quite visible in the society, in the landscape. You can see the windmills, you can see the solar panels. So we also have to think in, how do we act with biodiversity? How do we act together with neighbors? How do we act with society? How can you design the solar panels? How can you design the windmill parks so that they're more uh, livable? Uh, for, for people in, in the area. So we also need to work with the design of our products, not only what they produce, clean energy, but also how they impact the total value chain of the society. Copenhagen has been the front runner in so many ways and creating more livable cities. We've cleaned up the harbor. Uh, if you see the harbor today in a summer uh, day in Denmark, you'll see people living there sailing there, swimming there. We have created a city that is much more sustainable, much more livable. We have created district heating, district cooling. We have reduced energy consumption and we have created more benefits for the people living here. And that's good architecture. And that's a good way of having a, a logical system for transportation, for energy, for waste, uh, a place where people want to come out where they're safe and comfortable being present, living lives there. And Copenhagen is actually one of the most livable, nicest cities in the world. Uh, if I may paraphrase another Danish company, probably the best city in the world.